look behind me and look at the marvel that you have created. This is a place of intentional dignity, healing, love, and respect. First Class Respite Care rests on the foundation of clinical care as healing the body is fundamental to the full life that is a birthright for every last one of us. Very strange thing that we're doing because it's a little bit different, but we believe that it is the story of love that needs to be shared. We had tried to build the village in several different places, so when we came to Glencliff and we asked this community if they would be willing, they said yes. Because I felt that that's what God would have wanted, that, you know, for us to help the people. Um, I didn't see any reason at all why where he would not want this to happen, and that's why I voted yes. Well, I just think we're supposed to help people, and uh, I think uh, it's it, Jesus said to ask, invite strangers in your home, so I wish more people would do that. And members of this church um, who are mostly uh, women, um, older women and people experiencing homelessness said, it's okay, we're gonna walk this journey together. Um, it may mean that we see less before we see more, um, but we think that this is the, this is the faithful thing to do. Uh, so to me, that is risky discipleship. I can't imagine how it would be to, to be homeless and leave the hospital and have to, you know, be homeless again and not be able to recover, to, to have a, a, a safe place to go to where they can heal. They don't need money to purchase, they need help. They need a friend, they need somebody to be close to. Especially, I want to say, because I think this was the most risky thing. I want to say thank you to the people at Glencliff United Methodist Church. They believed in love, really, right? They believed in um, the fact that all people um, are created by God and therefore deserve a place, um, not just to live and survive, but to thrive.